Yo guys, welcome, welcome. Today we have a new OCG uh, metagame report, the first for this year. There is no new set that has released since the last one, but there will be a new set. Um, uh, the Legacy of Destruction set with uh, the new Lightsman support coming, I think, at the end of uh, the month. But as of right now, there is not. The interesting thing is that this is after the ban list that has hit... Uh, especially Rescue Ace and other decks. And we were expecting, and you can see it here, the dominance of Fire King uh, 40, uh, 34. This this is always hard uh, for me as a, like original German speaking person to, to make the, the right number thingy here, but it's a uh, 34.2%, which um, I think we are talking about tier zero at like 60%, something like that. Uh, might change um, in the upcoming weeks. Uh, other notable things here is that you can no longer see Labyrinth here on the pie chart. Labyrinth on a decline, on a down tour for the last few weeks. No longer on the pie chart here. Snake Eye uh, also has lost a bit of popularity. And then Rescue Ace, which was a deck that was hit, is totally gone from the pie chart. Obviously, we can, if we uh, scroll down here, I think there will be a Rescue Ace. There is no Rescue Ace here. That's interesting. We have three Snake Eye. Then you can see two Labyrinth. And oh, there's two sinful spoils, Snake Eye Rescue Ace. But yeah, pretty hard hits. So we have the Fire King dominant meta, and I think this will get worse if you want to call it. Um, so, so I think uh, Fire King will um, be even more dominant over time. Um, will probably be a tier zero deck at some point. Also because this will get new support in the future um, uh, with uh, one new card that they will get, uh, I think, quite soon. And then we also have a Voiceless Voice, which we will take a look at. I have made a video about the deck. If you do not uh, have seen that, you can check this out in the right corner. I have linked it there. Very interesting deck, very cool deck. Uh, I'm uh, normally not the biggest fan of Ritual decks, but this one is quite, quite nice. This will also get new support in Legacy of Destruction, the next main set that they will get at the end of the month. So this might rival Fire King, though. Voices Voice seems to have a very bad Fire King matchup. So let's scroll down here and we can, uh, this is always interesting because they are talking about new like developments in uh, the meta. Um, and you can see anti-spell anti fragrance has become the prime tech when going first to shut on the opponent's spell starters, such as Bonfire, of course, Original Sinful Spoils, Snake Eye, and of course also cards like Wanted, but you can chain the Wanted, right? Um, so this is also something that I have, play, or I'm playing in my Fire King side tech, the anti-spell here. Um, there's also the Soul Release, which is tech, uh, or the tech card against Fire King because you can remove five cards from the graveyard, so you are able to remove cards like the Promethean Princess, which is a problem which can come back from the grave. You can also remove uh, stuff like the Gurunix, obviously very, very impactful. And then you could also go and remove the Big Daddy Snake Eye if it's still in there. Maybe a Kirin, maybe the Ponix, so it can not come back. Uh, but also other cards like the Amblo Whale. So a really strong card. Um, and once again, Anti-Spell Fragrance really nice against this because once this is flipped, obviously you cannot go you cannot go for uh, the soul release anymore. So definitely makes sense. Um, and also this is why I am also playing it at the moment in my Fire King deck. If you can establish on your first turn the um, Sanctuary into the island, then of course this is already set up. Your most important spell is then already set up. And if you then go uh, anti-spell fragrance is not a big problem. But your Fire King opponent has a problem, of course, because he still has to go uh, the Sanctuary into the island. Um, and then he has to wait for a turn because he has to set the Sanctuary. Obviously, he can then directly activate the island, which, which is good for him because then he does not need to wait another turn to activate the field spell. But this is definitely something that's very, very impactful, very strong against Fire King. And also very interesting, we are seeing the Fire King Sanctuary at 1. It was at 2 before, uh, now only at 1. We can also see uh, Cosmic Cycling has become a more relevant, obviously, if people are playing Anti-Spell Fragrance. Then you go Cosmic Cyclone, and you can also use the Cosmic Cyclone. I think that is what they are talking about here, to target the IP Mascarina to remove it before the Flame Birch can um, summon it out of the Spell and Trap Zone. Um, yeah, you can see it here, Cosmic Cyclone, also card I'm running, very, very strong. You can shoot the island, which cannot be protected by the Sanctuary if a card or if the island would get banished. So that's quite, quite strong. Very interesting here. I really love the deck. I'm so hyped uh, for the moment. We in the TCG can play this at full power. Uh, one of my favorite decks since I have 
uh, once again started playing the game. Then we have Branded here, very interesting, a 60 card a Branded list. And they are talking here about Shadow Fusion um, being used uh, like, as a function or same as a Soul Release by summoning uh, the um, Nal Shadol Ariel, uh, Upcalone and Shadol Beast, which um, then the, I think it's the Ariel can remove something. Ah, yeah, um, the Ariel effect would banish cards from the opponent's graveyard and the Upcalone can then negate, uh, for example, a uh, upper loser of the goddess if that is on uh, the Fire King's field. We are playing a 60 card list here with two grass. Very, very interesting. You can see the nip. That is quite nice against Fire King, depending on when and where you can hit him obviously you can see the main deck droll and lockbird very interesting because this card does conflict quite heavily with maxi but uh, drone lockbird very nice against fire king and obviously this is the main thing that you are tacking against here so no big surprise here when it comes to uh, the drone lock but then we're playing the gimmick puppet lock obviously also nice not only against fire king you can see they still have the branded i'm not quite sure branded banishment or something i'm not quite sure how this card is called but it's basically the albion as a trap card. We are playing uh, the Phantasmas in the side deck. That uh, makes sense. Um, you can see the Shadow Fusion is only here to be tacked against Fire King, uh, that is. But um, uh, the Phantasma makes sense against uh, Fire King, and they have recently uh, gotten the Heavy Storm to one. Uh, we can quickly take a look at, okay, in this, in this particular list, it was a not run. Um, a very interesting here. But yeah, we are playing uh, the Phantasmace because obviously Viking is also uh, um, Link summoning a lot. And then we have a Voiceless Voice, which is uh, the name uh, that... Uh, it's, it's called Voiceless Voice in the TCG and a Silence Force over in the OCG, which Science Force, in my opinion, let me know in the comments what you think, is a bit cooler, but it is what it is. While Anti-Spell Fragrance Effect is applying Novox, the Voiceless the Disciple Effect could still be activated to place Voiceless Voice Barrier. That's quite nice. That's a good tech against... Or a tech, it's not a tech. It's maybe it's, it's in born in the cards that you are already using because the Novox, I have shown you this in uh, the the combo video that I have mentioned in the right corner, um, the Novox can set the continuous spell onto the field, which you then can uh, use to grab your Safira, and this one gets you into your uh, Skull Guardian. I'm not quite sure how the full name of this card is, but it's the Skull Guardian. Um, unfortunately, a very bad matchup against Fire King, especially going second, going first. It can be quite nice, but going second is definitely a problem. So, a bit unfortunate for the deck, definitely in the meta at a strong point, uh, at a wrong time you could say but uh, what we maybe could see in the future remains to be seen obviously how the OCG will handle the Fire King thing here but if Fire King gets some hits which it obviously will either in terms of I'm not quite sure so because I think they are not hitting the Fire King engine but they will probably hit the Snake Eye slash the Abelsa engine I would say guess though i'm not quite sure because the other deck that is running the engine rescue ace has gotten a really uh, strong hit and is no longer in the meta game as of this point so maybe we are also hitting uh, the fire king stuff at some point maybe the the kirin to one would definitely be impactful could also set something like a garunix to one even though they are they are playing this at one island to one it's a, it's a bit it's tricky hitting the engine but i think uh, if you want to hit the fire king engine kirin is a very good target because you definitely want multiple kirin but yeah so we might see over time but this remains to be seen obviously maybe when if i can get some hits and the voiceless voice gets the new support uh, in the new set that comes i think at the 27th of january uh, correct me if i'm wrong here but uh, when they get the new support i might see um, a bit uh, more dominance of the voiceless voice deck especially uh, when if i can get some hits there but yeah very interesting um, these are we are seeing conclusion Viking takes a dominant lead in the preliminary week having almost four times more tops than branded in the second spot yeah we are definitely on our way to a tier zero format and um, i think we will also have this in the tcg um, when we get the new set in february because rescue has already been hit here um, in the tcg labyrinth is definitely not different than it is here so if it is gone here then it should be gone uh, in the tcg as well at some point because fire king has a nice matchup against labyrinth that's the thing i guess and then we have obviously also voiceless voice which will be quite nice but once again voiceless voice with a bad fire king matchup so yeah it seems to be the case that fire king will um, at least for some time be the un 
unrivaled uh, contestant, competitor, at least in the OCG, and I also think in the TCG. But guys, let me know what you think of this development. It's very interesting. It's always uh, very nice and interesting to see what changes after a set release and also after a ban list like we had in the OCG on Christmas Day. Maybe we will also get ban lists at a set point like the OCG does. That would be quite interesting, quite nice. I would definitely like this. Um, for all of you who are still here, thanks for being here until the end. If you like my content, please consider subscribing, hitting the thumbs up and the notification bell. Let me know in the comments what you think of this development. Are you a big Fire King fan or do you hate the deck? I think you will have to live with the deck for some time, at least right now. But yeah, we will see each other in the next one. Until then, bye.